Tsonga comes from Mongolia. This is her sister, Narantuya, and this is Kai Ying from China. Many Europeans have trouble distinguishing and reading Asian faces. One person who experienced that problem was Ansgar Bittermann. He's developed software to address the issue. The idea for the software came to me 14 years ago when I was living in Hawaii. Hawaii is an Asian melting pot with lots of Koreans, Japanese and Chinese. I had problems integrating. I was in high school there. I'd make new friends one day and the next day I couldn't find them in the lunchroom. I couldn't tell Japanese and Chinese faces apart. It took me six weeks to stop feeling like a stranger and be able to recognize the faces. I always wondered why that was. Ansgar Bittermann went on to study psychology. Together with colleagues in Beijing, he created an online program to help Westerners understand Chinese facial expressions. The software promises to teach users how to identify 10 key emotions that are essential to dealing with Chinese business partners. It helps users learn about Chinese culture and social interactions. At the heart of the training program are 8,700 videos and photographs showing different emotions in the faces of men and women from Beijing. In 10 games, users learn to distinguish Chinese faces and read their expressions. They need to develop a passion for the country. That's what we're trying to achieve with our training program. We help people get a sense of the other culture by giving it a face. It's not just China, it's individuals from China. We're giving it a human face. People identify with that and lose their fear. The computer games provide an effective way of learning quickly and retaining lots of information. The facial recognition training program lasts two weeks and can be easily combined with a working day. Sebastian Paschold practices every day after work to be better equipped for his business involvement in China. Among the concrete things are talks, direct communication, preparing for possible collaborations. When you're in negotiations, you need to know how your counterparts are reacting. You want to see how likely you are to get a deal. You need to be able to tell if their reaction is positive or negative or indifferent. That's important for your own assessment and for how you conduct the rest of the talks. Reading facial expressions correctly is crucial in situations where security is at stake. For example, officials at airports have to be able to identify whether passport pictures actually correspond to the travelers themselves. And in everyday life, it's important to understand other people's nonverbal communication. We did a test with our Asian students in Berlin. You have to look a bit more closely. It's a little unfamiliar. Which of the four is looking sad? Sorry, I don't know. I'd say probably because they come from another culture, it's hard to recognize here. And that goes for Asians, too. Many find that all Europeans look pretty much alike. It is something you have to get used to. When I'm together with Mongolians, I recognize their emotions easily. But when I go abroad, at first all the faces are strange and I find it really hard. But of all the different and sometimes confusing facial expressions, almost everyone everywhere will recognize this one.